Hi friends, it's your art teacher, Miss Barnett, and in this week's lesson called Animal Alphabet, we've looked at two examples of animal alphabets uh, by the artist Walter Anderson, and we also looked at a very interesting example of using the shapes of animals to create letters and spell the word of the animal, which I thought was super duper cool. So today, guys, we're going to be creating an alphabet book for your classroom teacher. So what I want you to do is everyone's going to pick a letter. Try to pick a letter that you really like. Hopefully, if you're working at home, we can coordinate with the, one another, or maybe talk about it with our homeroom teachers and pick a letter that nobody else has picked, but really just pick one that you really like. And what we're going to do is once you've picked your favorite letter, you're going to think of an animal that starts with that letter. The animal could be in English or in Spanish. So frog could work for F and reina, which is the Spanish word for frog, could be an R. So I don't care if you do it, your letter in English or in Spanish, as long as it shows the letter of, the animal starts with the same letter that you're working on. Does that make sense? Excellent, guys. So I want you to, we're going to need a piece of paper. Today, this will be a page in our book. It's a nine and a half by 12 sheet of paper, but any size paper you have will work. And then we're going to use markers and colored pencils or crayons to create our letter design. So gather your materials and meet me back here and I'll show you how to make a letter, an animal letter. Let's get started. Okay guys, so I've picked the letter C and I'm gonna do a chicken. So maybe you might wanna start with a pencil and sketch out the shape of your letter first. So C is shaped like this. And this will also make help you make sure that you fill up your paper. A C is shaped like this. So I'm gonna turn this C into a chicken shape. So I'm gonna look at the parts of the chicken that make it a chicken. So I don't know, they all have this kind of comb and like the red thing and a beak. So I'm gonna make that this part right here. So I'm looking at the shape and I'm changing the shape of my letter, making this beak, oops. can turn the paper to help me draw better and he's got this like comb thing on the top of his head and he's got this like gully thing around the bottom of his neck and then there's his ear so there's my chicken's face then he has this kind of line where one set of feathers stop and then to make the feather shape I'm gonna come in here and make like some long use you can make your animal however you want to make your animal it's your letter here's my chicken's head and then we can do down here maybe we should do the chicken feet what do you guys think the chicken feet next yeah so I'm gonna flip him around, and I know his feet come out like this, like a, I'm looking at the shapes. And then maybe I'll put another foot right here. There's my chicken feet. And then he's got these feathers down here at the bottom. And he's got this kind of like thing that comes off to the side, this like tail part. And a wing. And then Look at those feathers, guys, they're so pretty. 
We've got more feathers. And then he's got some feathers down here that are like longer. And these feathers come this way. All right, there is my letter C chicken. Now I'm going to fast forward the tape using my markers and my colored pencils. I'm gonna start adding color. Here we go. All right, kiddos, so here is my letter C. I made it like a chicken. Now I'm going to use my markers and my colored pencils to color it in. If you don't have colored pencils, that's okay. Use crayons or markers. Use what you got. All right, I'm gonna start coloring. You can watch. Here we go. All right, kiddos, here is my completed animal alphabet project. I made the letter C. C is for chicken. I cannot wait to see which letter you guys pick and which animal you pick to go with your letter. These are going to look so cool, and I can't wait to put them together in a book for you guys. Awesome. I'll talk to you guys later. I hope you have a great day. Bye, friends.